This week's edition of Higher Ed Highlights features a visit to Miami University for Buckeye Boys State, Chancellor Carey's appearance at an Articulation and Transfer Network meeting, and a gathering of grantees from the Ohio Means Internships and Co-ops program. Miami University hosted the American Legion's 81st annual Buckeye Boys State program, June 11th through the 18th. Participating students focused on the work of state government, initiating thoughtful new legislation through mock sessions that mirrored ongoing efforts in Columbus. Buckeye Boys State's Ohio Department of Higher Education leadership team introduced legislation to create an online university and require college courses on financial literacy and drug awareness. ODHE staff member Steve Proctor attended the program's State Government Day to give the students a better understanding of what the department does and answer their questions. Chancellor Carey provided a higher education budget update to members of the Articulation and Transfer Network's Oversight Board during their June 15th meeting. Chancellor Carey thanked the group for its hard work in helping Ohio hit its 65% attainment goal and said the new state budget should continue to support ways to make higher education more affordable for students. ODHE capped the week by traveling to Columbus State Community College's Delaware campus for an Ohio Means Internships and Co-ops grantee meeting. More than 80 people from colleges, universities, and technical centers across Ohio attended the third annual meeting, where they received an overview of the OMIC program status and highlights from the past year. This morning we'll also see six of our institutions provide workshops on best practices and things they've done well, from large institutions like Bowling Green and University of Cincinnati to smaller schools, Clark State and Marietta College, talking about their experiences. We'll close the day uh, with a plenary session led by Dr. Bob Haas from Marion Technical College describing a new way to get data from ODJFS and be able to track students and demonstrate the importance of work-based learning as well as completing their degree or certificate on campus to increase their earnings in the near term and long future of their careers. Look for Higher Ed Highlights on the Ohio Department of Higher Education's YouTube page and through our Facebook page and Twitter feed and check out our website at ohiohighered.org. Thank you for watching, and come back next week for another round of Higher Ed Highlights.